Okay, today we're going to have a look at these little beauties. Um, what these are, are TTL logic converters. Three different types. There are actually more of these on the market. Now, this one here was 68 pence, I think from AliExpress. It comes encased in this heat shrink wrapping. It has a pin out of 5 volt. Let's get that in focus. Try and lock the focus off again. There we go. 5 volt ground receive pin, transmit pin, and a 3.3 volt pin. Not a bad little beauty, but for those Windows users of you, you out there, this is the one that you will have problems with the 2303. This is the one that's commonly fitted inside the Baofeng programming cable. And that's why I'm talking about these today, because um, it's pretty much what these are. Um, it's the um, hardware, if you like, inside of the programming cable. Now the voltage pins are not needed, the 5 volt and the 3 volt. But the ground, the receive and the transmit are then crossed ground to ground onto your radio, receive to transmit, transmit to receive. Um, that's on your, uh, possibly on your bow thing or, or whatever there. But if you look the pin up in online, um, you need a 3.5mm uh, and a 2.5mm and jack. And uh, you know, um, and a driver for this this little beauty. <coughs> right, next we're going on to this. Now this is actually um, a CH340G design. Comes to about ten more pence than the other one. You notice you've got a jumper on there, which you just pull off. Um, what it's actually doing is it's crossing the RX to the TX. Now what that means is, <clears throat> I presume it's done for testing at the factory. Um, because how you test one of these things is um, open it up in a like a, a terminal and send data to it. And if it's got data coming back, then it's going through, isn't it? Now this one, being about 10 more pence than the other one there, um, I think it's about 75 pence one this was. Um, does not come with a heat shrink on it. It's a bit of a disappointment. Um, however, um, I personally prefer these. Right, now we go on to the Rolls Royce. This cost me quite a bit more money back in the day. Um, don't see many of these about anymore. This is a, a CP... Uh, 2102 I believe it is now what we've got on the back here is we've also got the added DTR pin but you've also got if you wanted to solder on an RTS, a CTS now this is where one of these little beauties come in because this is a, a standard relay board that you buy on um, uh, eBay's 5 volt version I think uh, yes 5 volt version you can switch on high or low uh, by, by means of a jumper and um, basically what you do is you put your voltage in there your 5 volt from your um, uh, from your little TTL logic converter plus your ground and plus the DTR pin or or the um, uh, whatever you're going to switch on but normally it's a DTR pin a lot of um, ham software for digital modes um, uses a DTR pin for switching and, and amongst others and what happens is that when it sends a signal down that line the relay will click over um, and what it does is on this side you've got a common, uh, a normally connected and a normally open. So what will happen is it will switch from this side over to this side. Click, click. Um, you can do this with an opto coupler, of course. Uh, I think you'll find this particular board has one sitting down there on it as well. Um, 
<clears throat> but these are particularly useful for switching CBs where if you want to switch your RX over to your TX and then back over to your RX. Okay, now um, how to join these things? Well, you can buy blocks of cable like this again off of um, your favourite Chinese or um, flea Bay site. Um, block of cable like this will set you back just under a pound. Um, just pick off as many wires as you want, like so. These are called Dupont connectors. Now, what I've found with these is these are if I can get them in focus, these are fantastic for um, I know just testing out. But if you want any long term use, do not use these. Um, solder straight onto the headers, you know, it, even take this black plastic off, this is what I commonly do, and solder the DuPont connector straight onto, um, onto that and uh, onto that. Why have I got an Arduino here? Um, it's basically just to show you that on the bottom of this Arduino, I've got yet another one of the ICs that are the same as this IC because this actually uses a serial transfer through to that as well. So um, that's effectively got one of these built in. Um, anyway, where was I going with the uh, the soldering? Yes, um, over time you'll find that. Um, Bit of oxidation build up um, and um, they actually become a bit loose the DuPont connectors so um, you know they're fine for um, for testing um, but anyway these going back to this this is your your basis of your programming cable um, pretty much for most PMR radios uh, so uh, well worth a purchase Right, apologise there in the other video, a um, bit of clicking going on because um, I have my I focus on. Right, I've installed FL Digi on this old laptop, and there's the. Uh, if I use the zoom, I think. Wouldn't it? There's the uh, CP2102. Now, I've colour coded the wires a bit. Let's see if I can uh, move the focus a little bit. There we go color code the wires a bit black is obviously going to the ground plus 5 volt is red the DTR which is the signal wire is going over on the brown there sometimes this 5 volt actually runs better on the 3.3 volt rail um, so just remember that if you're having problems where um, your relay clicks over and just stays over um, depends on the board more than anything Right, this is switching on um, low, so if I switch it over with a the jumper, there we go, the click goes on and it goes on, but we don't want that. So we're going to go back to our FL Digi here and I'm going to hit a CQ on it and hopefully we'll see the board go over. I'll show you the settings that are on it. but. Sorry for the bit of shaky hand there, but um, yep, that's basically it. We'll try again. There's my other hand. Oh, no. Right. Now, how that's put on here. Rig control. Right, let's see how much out of focus we are. There we go. Now. I've had to, I'm using a hardware PTT using separate serial port. In this case, it's uh, Dev TTY USB 0, it's Linux. Um, and I'm switching on the DTR pin. Now, if I had that on DTR Plus and I initialized it, what would happen is my relay would go over because now it's switching um, on the other switching. So now if I put my relay sorry my jumper on the other way round um, it's, it's inverted voltage so now you notice it's gone off again and if I save that and close that and I hit the transmit again the 
there you go it works again um, that's inverted voltage uh, but obviously ideally you don't want to run it that way uh, but you can um, it, it's more a case of if you lose voltage it will go into transmit um, so uh, yeah uh, anyway that's that's a quick demo of um, how your PTT lines run um, on one of these things uh, now this to me is a bit of overkill because um, I could literally swap that straight for just an optocoupler um, and uh, the voltage would just be straight from the DTR into the optocoupler lighting the LED switching the radio doesn't work for all radios whereas this does and obviously this has the advantage if you're switching a you know a CB style thing from the um, RX over to the TX um, this will do the job um, it's also very nice uh, and there it goes into transmit marvellous <laughs> right then here's what we've got we've got our two and a half mil um, stereo jack basically a three pole and the same for a three and a half mil now we're going to use three wires I'm not going to do any soldering I'm just going to do a quick mock up and we've got our three different TTL logic converters we have our UV5R and I've just installed Chirp um, might be an older version of Chirp I don't know but anyway um, yeah, we're just going to uh, set this up and uh, I'll be back in a sec ok so there we have it our um, head strap on our uh, that's actually a, not a UV5R but it is <laughs> if you know what I mean <coughs> right anyway that's our PL2303 um, the wires are not even soldered there um, Chirp's just finishing installing <coughs> and um, let's uh, let's switch over to the system that's quite an old laptop this it's not particularly powerful right how am I going to go radio download we want to change our port over to the port we're using in this case it's TTY USB 0 do you know honestly I don't know about the camera not focusing my eyes aren't focusing either oh, it's bang on auto sorry for the uh, annoyance right and we're going to go for a bow fang and we're going to tell him it's a UV5R and we're going to hit download oh now that's a good sign that's a very good sign and that's a very good sign uh, see if I can just okay so that is the PL2303 one and there we go that's read that fine fantastically okay so next we're going to try our different logic converter okay next up is the C CH341 um, same thing we wire an RX to TX TX to RX and the ground um, and we're about to hit download and see what happens uh -huh. interesting okay here we are back with the CH341 the CH341 failed to work now the reason why is because the TX on this model goes to the TX on there and the RX goes straight to the RX which obviously means that they're actually um, uh, just um, written down wrong on the on the PCB which doesn't surprise me at all actually because um, 
uh, what they probably argue is that um, that's where the RX should go. Um, you know, <laughs> I've actually got a Sinclair computer that does a similar um, effect. Anyway, if I now hit download from it, you'll see it started. This one's uh, got two nice flashy lights as well, look. And the radio is also flashing well there. So again, no problems with that model. And there it does read out fine. Um, by the way, if it reads it, you know, it should write as well. Um, so I think it actually uses both, but um, we'll just prove a point. We'll upload to the radio as well. Oh, seems to be going a lot faster actually. And what should happen, I think, is the radio should reset afterwards. Uh, nearly there, nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Marvellous.